coming up on China Chats. We've decided to give you an exclusive peek behind the scenes at some of the very funniest moments from our first live show. Every time I look at Paul, that's all. It's just... I tried to find someone as sexy as him in Hong Kong, but I couldn't, so I uh, flew him in for this. <laughs> Tammy, what, how, what, what's your feeling on the self-washing at a table? Well, Sean, it's funny you would ask. <laughs> <laughs> See? No. Tammy, you're the worst television guest ever. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, one more time. It's a FaceTime production for Guangdong Radio and Television. Boom! Good job, bro. Well done. I only had one line to remember. <laughs> Welcome to China Chats, a FaceTime production for Guangdong Radio and Television. This is one of the first multimedia English chat shows made for television, radio, the internet and the mobile app here in China. And this year, for the first time, we've escaped the confines of our conventional studio and we've brought the show closer to you, our audience, the China Chats community. And while our production team is hard at work producing more fantastic shows for you, we've decided to give you an exclusive peek behind the scenes at some of the very funniest moments from our first live show, Looking at Culture Clap. That's right, we are coming to you live from the Q Bar at the Westin Guangzhou. Let's give a huge round of applause for the Westin for having us here today. Now, I'm joined here by an esteemed panel, and I'll introduce each of these gentlemen and ladies to you now. This was the first Paul time Johnson. for us to have four Hong Kong-based international comedians on our panel, with the guest host, Sean Abair. The Canadian got the crowd warmed up with some very playful teasing. And this is some of the fun that you missed. We're gonna be talking about like Chinese culture. One thing I've noticed since uh, coming to China is that laughing boisterously in large groups is not something that's typically done in China. So I want you to throw that into the wind and become that group of people here. If it's funny, laugh. If something seems to call for applause, applaud. Don't be shy. You look like the shyest person on planet Earth right now. What is happening? You're having like a seizure right in the front row. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. Uh, what is your name? Chloe. You've seen me in Hong Kong. That's the creepiest thing anyone said. What, like through my window or we, we met before? You saw me in Hong Kong somewhere. That's awesome. And you live, you live here? And what do you do here? You train English teachers. Wow. You're like the, the mega mecca of English teachers. You're like, I'm not an English teacher. I train them how to be better teachers. That's cool. Well, those who can't do teach, right? And those who can't teach, teach in Asia. So that's why you are here. Uh, you are the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my entire life, sir. Look at what you've done here. T t stand up. Take a look at this gentleman here. This is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. What do you do, sir? You're like a walking magazine. That's all I'm... I'm... Um, all right, it's not the Oscars, it's China Chats. So let's stick to the task at hand. But yeah, you gentlemen live here as well in Guangzhou? You do. You are like, oh, no. <laughs> Just visiting. Where are you visiting us from? Vancouver. Wow. There's more Chinese people in Vancouver than China. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. It's like you got off the plane. Why did I leave? I don't even know. I'll g Screw it. I'll go get dumplings. We'll just go. And you, so you live here. What do you do? You're an editor of a magazine. Are you reviewing us right now? How am I doing so far? <laughs> I'm not going to be mean to that guy. Let's move on. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you'll also be receiving a gift bag when you leave here today. Woo! Gift bags. Yes. Okay, so we are ready. You guys seem uh, warmed up and, 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 and pleasant and happy. So let's bring the, uh, the panel up on stage here. Of course, sometimes the funniest things happen off camera. And with our panel all mic'd up and five cameras rolling, we caught some great moments that we're going to share with you right now. Have a look. Here, let me. <laughs> you want to go here? Right. Tammy's here. Oh, okay. come on. Oh. <laughs> so when we start the taping, uh, I will introduce our panel, but I will just informally introduce you to them now. Uh, you'll hear it again shortly, and then again a third time <laughs> for the second episode that we taped today. Uh, this gentleman here on my right, your left, is Paul Johnson. 
He is joining us here from Shanghai. Please give him a huge round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. Paul, why are you so beautiful? <laughs> It's a question I get a lot, but、uh, thank you, Sean. I answer my question, Paul. <laughs> That's lovely. Paul.、Uh, Paul's a writer. Yeah, <laughs> no, he won't. Yeah, those cheekbones are all jeans, man. Just jeans.、Uh, Paul is、uh, a writer for Time Out Magazine up in. Thank you. Is this in the nose or is this on the face? What do we need to? <laughs> what do we have to do with that? It smells nice. Sweating. In case I start, it's when I start sweating. That's what we. Every every time I look at Paul, that's all. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> try to find someone as sexy as him in Hong Kong, but I couldn't, so、uh, flew him in for this.、Uh, to my right, here is Garen Chu. Hello, give, guys. Give Garen Chu a round of applause. Yeah, I deserve that. Give it up for Garen. Garen's not as beautiful as Paul, but I find <laughs> <laughs> what he lacks in beauty, he makes up for in money. He he bought his way onto the show. Let's be honest. I tried. That's lovely. Tell tell them a bit about yourself, Karen.、Uh, I'm not. I'm, money won't make me as beautiful as Paul. Look at that. All right. So,、uh, Karen is also a stand-up comic、uh, in Hong Kong with Takeout Comedy, and he also works in advertising because comedians don't make any no, money. No, no, we don't.、Um, Neither do advertisers, but you know. Oh, well, good to know. <laughs> good to know. To my left, you're right here is Lum Lum. Woo! Lum Lum is a fashion buyer. Yes, I am. Have you ever met this guy right here? Because he seems to know where to buy.、Yeah. Well, I think he bought it in my shop. Oh, there you go. There you go. A plug already. And no, you cannot touch my hair. Oh, thanks. I wasn't going to ask, but we'll move. Yeah, that's perfect. Later? Can I? No. Okay.、Uh, and yes, they're real. And yes, I wash them. It smells really good. <laughs> Fair. Okay. All of my dreadlocks questions answered. <laughs> Finally,、uh, this is Tambi Chan here. Tambi is、uh, Woo! yeah. Woo! <laughs> Tambi、uh, isn't normally allowed to perform in China because he、uh, <laughs> he can't ever watch his mouth. But、uh, we've assured him the government is not here today, so he's allowed to say whatever he'd like. <laughs> and、uh, and Tambi is a comedian here in, in Hong Kong as well, and I believe he teaches small children. But、uh, somebody in the government <laughs> is trying to change that.、Uh, <laughs> Okay. Would you like to introduce yourself in any way, or tell、uh, me I can't you, touch parts of your body?、Um, you can actually touch all parts of my body Thank you, now、Tammy. and later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tambi. <laughs> so the one thing is, when my voice goes up like this, usually I'm like trying to get you to clap. So feel free,、uh, <laughs> yeah, to go ahead. Uh, so, for example, I'm going to start by welcoming you to China Chats. Go ahead and clap after I say China Chats. That would be a really convenient time to. Not every time. <laughs> If we find something very funny, we will pause and then go. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, let us know when you're ready. Oops. Okay, we're ready to start. Sorry, one more time. It's a FaceTime production for Guangdong Radio and Television. Nice, nice. Boom! Good job, bro. Well done. I、yeah. only had one line to remember, and I got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to China Chats. <laughs> thank you, thank you. China Chats is a FaceTime production for Guangdong Radio and Television. This is a very, very special edition of China Chats. We are joined by a live audience today. Let's hear you, live audience. <laughs> Today's episode is about culture clash. We're going to be talking about Chinese culture in particular, and not just Chinese culture, but what foreigners in China notice about Chinese culture. And my name is Sean Aber, as well a comedian from Hong Kong. I thank you for having me. I'm your host today on China Chats. Now, one of my responsibilities as the host of China Chats is to have this bell. This is the racism bell. Every time somebody says something. A little bit racist. I'm gonna ring the bell. So, watch yourselves here today. I'll bell anyone who's on the street being racist too. So don't worry. But if you hear the bell, take it down a notch, guys. Take it down just a notch. At China Chats, we love to push the boundaries of English programming here in China. After all, real people, real talk. That's our motto, and we're proud of it. But sometimes our guests say things that are maybe just a little bit too racy. Causing our producers' head to spin. Well, 
Today for you, an exclusive look at some of those comments that we didn't put out in our first show, but we're giving them to you today. And remember, folks, it's all in the name of comedy. Let's have a look. Right. What would a nice squatter toilet exactly. look like to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Listening to myself. Do you guys have a problem with squatting toilets, like versus normal toilets? You know, like, because I prefer them, you know, like, because with normal toilets, sometimes there's like a splashback, right? <laughs> with, right. with squatter toilets, not the case. Totally dry. Too much information. We're going to move on to the... Uh, we're going to go to the street again. Tambi, what, how, what, what's your feeling on the self-washing at a table? Well, Sean, it's funny you would ask. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Tambi, you're the worst television guest ever. Thank you. Um, I don't get it, right? Because like, when they serve the food, right? We don't have the option of washing those dishes. So we just assume those are f***ing dirty? Oh, so, oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think he was going for the bell there. So we just assume those are dirty, yeah. right? I should have like six bells for you, Tambi. Come on now. But joking aside, the first part of the Culture Clash discussion was off to a great start. Yeah, okay. Hey, thanks. That was cool. That was fun. Um, we are going to give you guys a few minutes to stretch and walk around and take a bathroom break, and we will reconvene here, and then we're going to make fun of white people. Yes! For about 30 My minutes. Thing to do. So go ahead, we appreciate it. I don't need to warm up. I, I don't know who you are, but you cheered way too much when you heard making fun of white people. You're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Great, the tables are about to be turned, and I was among the expats, giggling nervously in the audience to see how the second show would turn out. But as a regular China Chats host, I was also very interested to see how Sean would cope with the toughest part, that tricky intro. Now, we've gone out into the streets in Guangzhou and we've talked to locals. And they are giving their opinions on foreigner quirks in China. Their opinions on the people who come to China to live here with us. Well, that was cool. Hey, that wasn't even me that screwed up the intro, right? <laughs> that was so awesome. No, that's cool. I thought they were going to pay us to be here, but there's no food at all. Okay, sorry, we're going to do that again. Be just as enthusiastic. Yes, yes. Thanks to the brilliant panel and enthusiastic audience, the second show was again filled with laughter, gasps, the occasional ringing of the racism bell, and a live Q&A. So we've got some questions on the board. I'm going to start at the top. Why do foreigners always wear super strong perfume? I think it makes it easier like, to find each other in a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> what about partying? This is the other suggestion. I think it's just a generational thing. The biggest partiers were like the Asians and the Latinos. It wasn't the white people. Because, you know, they actually have to study. We're just smart in general, so... Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ring the bell on that. <clears throat> we thought it was the perfect way to spend a Sunday afternoon, and we wanted to check whether the audience felt the same way. I think the show is great. It was all very interesting. I think it's a very good plan for to exchange the opinion between the foreign and Chinese. Oh, I think it's great. It's, it's, it's really amazing, like um, very funny and lots of laughs. I, I, I had lots of laughs. <laughs> yeah, she brought up something we, I don't think we considered, is that when you don't line up for things, you can actually get there faster. Right now, I think that is the truth. Yeah, I, so... I think that's pretty clear. That's how cutting in line works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you talking about? Uh, I think Westerners need to adapt more to understanding what, hap what Chinese people are like and how Chinese culture is, is uh, different from Western culture. Most impressive question, I would say, is the question with the answer of jet lag. Part of me feels bad for that last guy. Like, we should probably call him and tell him. Right that, that was a blast. <laughs> um, I think all the questions are, are very impressive because, uh, you, you know, when, when you're living with your foreign friends, when you want to make friends with them, these are the real problems you're facing. And they are having confusion because of the uh, cultural understanding and things. 
Okay, yeah, so taking not. pictures of people of a different ethnicity, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you, you, it is a Chinese thing when you're taking pictures of, like, the black people, yeah. Or okay. Like, yeah, or, like, the so, white people, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, it, I mean, it, it was just when you said the black people. I think that was the, it was the word the there. That was the... I agree with what uh, the woman said because I'm a teacher or I'm a retired teacher and I've taught here and I don't think teachers should be considered in the loser category. ESL teachers equal total losers. Total losers. Okay. Is it easier for foreigners to come here without qualifications and get work as an ESL teacher? To get work? Yes. To be a teacher? Absolutely no. And teachers should never be in the same sentence as loser. Oh. I agree that there are lots of people who come here with no qualifications whatsoever to be teachers, but then the company that hires them should know to filter those people out rather than hiring them. And at the end of the day, the cultural communication is about delivering the message and help each other to understand each other. Maybe I would um, keep on, you know, uh, keep an eye on the show uh, in the future. <laughs> we really thank you. We appreciate uh, you chiming in. These are not easy questions to ask. These are uh, contentious. We've had fun with it, and hopefully you've had fun at home as well. Uh, but have these conversations. Talk to people about it. It opens the society up a little bit. Uh, if you've been offended by anything that we said on the show, uh, just go screw yourself. I don't think uh, you need to. No, we thank you so much for watching this episode of China Chats. Please tune in next time. My name's been Shawnee Bear. Thanks. Needless to say, the live show was a great success. But what many of you couldn't see was the two-hour showcase that followed that very same evening, when the stand-up comedians produced some standout material. My kids uh, were both born in America, but have been educated entirely at an international school in Shanghai. And they have learned things already, they have already learned things that they don't even teach at American universities. Like the metric system. <laughs> but it makes me feel bad that my kids don't know the American or empirical system of measurement. Like just the other day I said to my son, I used a very common English expression, I said, give him an inch and he'll take a mile. And my son just gave me a blank expression because he doesn't know inches and miles. So I've had to start converting all English sayings into metric. Man, I warned you about Andy, give him 2.54 centimeters and he'll take 1.6 kilometers. Uh, let's go, just another poll room. We got any Americans here? Woo! Yeah. We're gonna make fun of those two people at the back. <laughs> awesome. No, sure, like, I I'm American too. Uh, I was born in America before I moved to Hong Kong. But there's been a phrase recently that Americans have been saying a lot that's been really pissing me off. The phrase is this, I like to say, you know, if we don't get our act together, in 50 years, we'll all speak to the Chinese. How arrogant is that? Americans think they can learn Chinese? <laughs> I can't even learn Chinese! Come on. My friends back home have, they never know what to say to me when I say I'm going to China. I'm going to Beijing, I'm going to Guangzhou to do a show. They're like, oh, I'm going to China to do comedy? <laughs> Don't you feel oppressed? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely. Every single foreigner in this room knows that if you're white in China, you can do whatever the <laughs> you want. If you would get a huge round of applause to the folks from China Chats. If you've never seen it on Guangdong Radio Television, please check it out. They help coordinate the show. One more time, China Chats. <laughs> lastly, give yourselves a huge round of applause. It's a Sunday night without drinking. You can see Thank you. For our next live shows, we're taking a 180 degree change of style. We're going from crazy comedy to a graceful discussion on modern etiquette. We've got an international panel of experts and an even bigger live audience. 
And there's one thing I can say for sure, it's going to be another sensational China Chat show. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs>